uh, if I speak about uh, BIP IFR qualification itself, it is one single exam uh, which is focused on IFRS. So, I mean, students when they think about ACCA, so one thing is that you have ACCA professional qualification, which which comprises of thirteen exams and different knowledge areas such as financial accounting, management accounting, financial management, audit, taxation, etc. Uh, which is like a very broad spectrum. BIP IFRS is only focused on uh, IFRS. So this qualification is actually uh, <clears throat> focused on those working professionals who do not have time or do not have you know motivation or inclination to complete all 13 exams of ACCA, but at the same time they want to have some recognition uh, as uh, you know with respect to their IFRS knowledge. So for those people, ACC introduced this qualification. If you are in your mid career. Uh, because this is for working professionals. So if you are an already a working accountant, you are in mid-career and you need recognition about your IFRS knowledge, DIP IFR qualification, one single exam, this is exactly what is designed for you and which would help you in uh, not only gaining the knowledge, but also it gives, it adds a lot of value to your CV. Eligibility, exam structure and fee. So eligibility, there are two criteria. One criteria is that, uh, you know, you should have an accounting degree, which means the bachelor. So remember that a bachelor's qualification minimum is a must for, for DIP IFR. Uh, if you have a bachelor's degree with accounting, so it is called a relevant qualification and you need two years working experience to show. If you have a bachelor's degree, but it is not accounting qualification, you might come from different background. So in that case, you need to show three years working experience. So two type of options you have, an accounting qualification with two years working experience and not an accounting qualification with three years working experience. Exam structure and fee, if I speak about three hours long exam, four questions each. Uh, each question is for 25 marks. First question is for consolidation, 25 marks. Second question is again 25 marks in which they will check your knowledge in, with individual standards. Every 25 mark question will have two or three parts like part A, part B or part C. Uh, the last question usually does not involve calculation. It is all, uh, you know, discussive question. So 25, 25, 25, four questions you will get. Actually, in past, like until 2018, the first question consolidation was 40 marks, and that was quite complex consolidation. But now they have, uh, you know, reduced the marks to consolidation part to 25 only. Still a very important part of that, uh, you know, exam 25 marks. Sure, short consolidation question will come. Exam is not really um, very difficult, but definitely it is technical. So you need to be very well prepared with IFRS. Uh, fee, uh, exam fee to ACCA, actually previously it was 185 pounds straight. So 185 pounds that included your student registration and your exam booking. Now what they have done, they have changed the style. I think now it is 129 GBP, 129 pounds for student registration and then there is 65 or 70 pounds for exam registration. So you need to uh, send your documents, which documents you send to ACCA for registration. You will send a copy of your ID or your passport. You will send a copy of your, you know, educational document, academic document. If you do it notarized, that is even better. And you send your experience letter and you send your photo. So these are the four documents you will upload to ACCA website and you would pay immediately 120 sterlings. Uh, this will make you, a, uh, you know, a registered student for DIP IFR. You will get an email that you are eligible for, uh, you know, you are an eligible student for to take DIP IFR exam. The next step would be that when you will be ready, then you will go again into your MySCCA profile and then you will book the exam. Exams are held twice a year in June and in December. And usually, you know, like six weeks before exam, you must book your exam. Uh, 